just so we can get a little bit of a background on you, how did you become a fund manager? How did you become a technology fund manager? It's an it's an interesting story. I mean, I would describe my personality as I'm somebody that's always been intellectually curious. I mean, I like to know how things work. Um, I had exposure, you know, in high school of you know working you know on in the back of a garage at, at an automotive dealership in summers. Um, uh, the journey for me was one of uh, prior to business school. I worked for uh, Hoffman LaRoche, the big Swiss company in pharmaceutical sales and then biotechnology sales specifically. And then I went back to business school um, many, many moons ago. Um, and when I came out, I really had this belief that I wanted to be part of technology. In fact, if I hadn't gotten into business school, I was actually interviewing with technology companies to leave to leave uh, biotech. Um you know, I got a job uh, at Oracle uh, working in uh, working in vertical applications, and that's a fancy way of saying uh, you know products that are specific specifically geared to industries. Um, I worked in operations. I worked with our partners um, to help put a suite of products together, and then I actually went out and sold that suite of products after helping put it together because I thought that would be a really good experience. By the way, software sales are really hard. Uh, learn that quickly. I have a lot of respect for anyone in sales. Um, it's not, it's it, here again, it's a, it's a job where you might be, keep yourself up at night. And then, you know, I started, I would run into people periodically and they'd ask me about software companies and stocks. And, you know, one thing led to the next and I usually have pretty, you know, pretty good opinions on them. I mean, one of the people said to me, you should, you should come to the buy side. The, you know, they were basically, they basically said, your knowledge is, is such that you really know these companies. You understand, you know, what makes them successful. Um, and I interviewed uh, and I got the job uh, and the rest is kind of proverbial. The rest is history. Uh, but I think it's a journey for me that has been a really interesting one in that I love the fact that I get to meet with these super interesting companies that are run by these, you know, run by a lot of times these entrepreneurs um, and I feel really lucky um, in that, you know, I am in that constant learning curve. Uh, after this call, I'm going to the Goldman Sachs tech conference this afternoon or this morning, in my case. And, you know, I'm excited to go listen and learn and try to figure out, you know, are there companies that we should be looking at for the trust? So, you know, you know, I just encourage anyone, you know, just be a lifelong learner like because it's such a great way to go through life. Um, and there's so much out there and it doesn't have to be technology. It can be all sorts of things. And I have lots and lots of interests outside of technology. So that's how I got there. That's how I got here. And I, I'm fortunate and I feel very lucky to do what I do. Well, I, I've got to say, I think that's a fascinating story, Mike. And I, I see, I feel lucky to talk to you. <laughs> I find that interesting, but you had a great time at that conference. That sounds really good. And we are so pleased you're coming over from San Francisco to the showcase. We'll be seeing you then. Oh, I'm, exci I'm excited to be. I love coming to the UK, so I'm excited to come. Talk soon. See you then. Take care.